Some stories we love because they're complex. They take ideas and they weave them together in a way that's meaningful and exciting. But sometimes when we try to write those stories, they end up coming off as messy and complicated. Today I want to explain the difference between complex and complicated stories, and I want to help shift you away from those ugly, messy ones. What's up guys, my name is Brandon McNulty, I'm a writer and welcome to my writing channel. As I mentioned in the opener, I want to talk about the difference between a complex story and a complicated one. I'll start off by mentioning that a complex story is a story that takes simple ideas, simple plot lines, and simple character arcs and weaves them together in a way that is meaningful and hopefully exciting. Typically, most of our favorite stories are complex. I think the best way to think of a, a complex story is to look at the classic murder mystery taking place inside a mansion. You have a bunch of different characters. You have a, also a detective character who has to interview these potential murder suspects and eventually find out who committed the murder at the end. You keep it contained to that, that house. You don't you know, jump all over the place or, or go crazy or throw you know, all different worlds and planets into the mix. You just keep things simple and you, you focus on the characters until the very end where you finally have that revelation of who committed the murder. It's simple, it works, and yet it's complex. Now if you need a more specific example of a complex story, look at the original Star Wars. And yes, I know I beat Star Wars to death on this channel, but it, it's an example that pretty much everybody understands, so I gotta stick with it. But uh, as for the original Star Wars, if you look at the opening, you have a pretty simple opening. You have Leia versus Darth Vader. Darth Vader's chasing after Leia, trying to recover the stolen data tapes. And we get the idea right off the bat that there's this war going on between the Rebels and the Empire. That's simple. Now, that's too simple for the story to be amazing. You can't just have Leia and Darth Vader fighting for two hours until the very end. That wouldn't be complex. That wouldn't be exciting. But what the writers do in this case, they take other characters and they throw them into the mix. You take somebody like Luke, a farm boy from Tatooine. You take Han Solo and Chewbacca, two smugglers who are trying to pay off a debt. You take Obi-Wan Kenobi, a washed up Jedi who's looking for redemption. You take two droids who are looking to serve their master and play a part in this. You take these characters, all these different perspectives, and you weave them together in a way that is meaningful, a way that pays off at the end of the story. All those characters, they start off simple, and they, they come together at the end in a way that resonates with the audience, that makes us care, and that ultimately has an exciting payoff. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you have stories that are complicated. And these are stories where you either give the audience too much information or too little information. And I think when it comes to giving too much information, it's, it's a typical case of info dumping, just you know, throwing out too many names, throwing out too many characters, throwing out too many situations. And you know, instead of keeping things simple and giving us someone to focus on, someone to latch on to and follow for the, the course of a few chapters or you know, a few hours or whatever it is, in, instead of giving us something simple to follow, we have to, you know, juggle all these different things in our mind and, you know, try to figure out what's going on. And then we have stories where it's complicated because we get too little information. We don't get enough. Sometimes this happens uh, with, with, with like video games when, when they're, the translation isn't good enough or you know they're, they're rushing to beat a deadline so it can be released in time for Christmas. And if you are a writer and you're, you're working on a story and you're, you know, you're, you're mailing it in toward the end, don't do that. You know, you, you got to fill in the blanks for your readers because you don't want them to feel a story is complicated because they, 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 they don't understand everything. They didn't get all the pieces they need. Uh, when it comes to, you know, leaving out information, what that does to your reader, they, they will try to fill it in. They'll try to make sense of it. But the way they make sense of it might not be the way you hoped they would make sense of it. So it helps to, you know, you don't have to fill in every little detail. You can leave some room for interpretation, but you need to hit on the important things. Everything that they need to know to connect the dots and get toward the end, you have to put that in there. And then another area where a story gets complicated is when you have too many things happening in quick succession. Typically this happens with, with revelations or plot twists. You know, you, if you've ever watched a movie or, or a TV show where, where things are just happening too fast toward the end, like maybe boom, 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 one thing after another, and you know, that character who you thought you understood just changed, and then they change back, and then they change back again, and you don't know whose side they're on, and it's just, it's happening too fast. 
that's that's a problem. That could be a very serious problem. And I think when we write those things, sometimes we think like, oh, well, this is exciting. We're throwing all those plot twists out there. We're really keeping the readers on edge. And, you know, maybe in our minds as the writers, it makes sense because we, we have it all mapped up there and we understand. But what the readers seeing, they're seeing things that are happening way too fast for them. So you, you have to be aware that readers need things spaced out a little bit for them. You can't just throw everything at them at once. You can't have them get to know a character for an hour and a half and then you change who they are five different times in ten minutes. That, that's not a great way of doing it. So I, I think whenever it comes to plot twists and revelations, make sure they have impact and make sure there's some, some cool down time, some, some moments for you know, the readers to just take it in, make sense of it, think back to how they got there, how the character started and how they ended up at this point where they're, they're stabbing their best friend or they're, they're turning on a longtime ally or whatever it is. And I think these kind of things are what you need to be careful of. It's it, they're oftentimes they're easy fixes, and if you if you simplify them, if you make it easier on your readers, you'll end up with a complex story that they love and enjoy. So I hope this helps. Question of the day: What is one story that turned you off because it was too complicated? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Share this video with a friend if you don't mind. And as always, remember to keep on writing.